children today we are going to uh, discuss one important thing regarding cbsc this is the new update already all of them got the result is it so today this is the update regarding revaluation process so it begins uh, yesterday and the dot uh, site is cbsc.gov.in understood and the cbsc secondary education uh, class 10 and 12 result already announced the board released class 10 and 12 result online july 22nd so some of them got uh, good marks and some of them got bad marks so because of combined mark sheet term 1 and term 2 has been released understood then they took the ratio 30 is to 70 that means 30 percentage from the term 1 and 70 percentage from the term 2 now the official note from the CBSC side that is a revaluation process in three steps. The first one is verification of mark. When you apply for verification of mark, you will get the mark. If any error in the totaling, so you will get the marks uh, with the verifi verified marks. And the second step is display of photocopy of answer sheet. Once you obtain verification of mark, then you can apply for the photocopy of answer sheet. And the third one is re-evaluation of answers. In this, you have first you obtain the photocopy, then you can go through is what all things you wrote, it is correct, what all things you wrote, that is correct, there you got less mark, you can re-evaluation, you can give for re-evaluation. Students first apply for verification of marks, understood then checked again totaling error if any missing out of marks and were not awarded for any unchecked or unmarked questions are there the board then informed the students of the result and the opportunity for requesting photocopy of their answer sheet once the verification result out students can decide it if they want to move to the second step or not this can be done irrespective of the fact that the marks how changes after verification are or not. All, also, one important thing is that only the subject or papers in which student has applied for verification can request for photocopy be made. Students who miss out step 1 cannot proceed to step 2. After step 2, the board shared the photocopy of answer sheet requested online Students can then check their answers against the correct answers and ask for the re-evaluation of their answers. Remember one thing, students have to apply re-evaluation of questions and not end their paper. Only the questions asked to be re-evaluated would be done. Again, only the purpose which photocopy was asked can be re-evaluation be applied for. And each step, they are given the scheduled timing for this. The first application is applying for verification of mark. That is on July 26th. They start the date and the last date will be July 28th. So the fee, fee for each subject be 500. If you are taking two subjects, it will cost 1000 rupees. Understood. If you are taking uh, for applying for verification for three subjects, you will get 500 into 3,500. And the, uh, once finished the verification of mark, you will get the mark. Then you have another step is applying for open, obtaining photocopy of answer sheet. The starting date is August 8th and it will get only two days. That is August 9th. This is also a same uh, cost of fees, rupees 500 for per answer sheet. Once you obtain the photocopy, you have a chance to apply for re-evaluation if you want. That day starts from August 13 till August 14 and the timing they were given till 11.59 p.m. So for each question, which question you have, you want more marks, that question, particular question, per question, you have to pay rupees 100 rupees. So students and parents are advised to carefully go through the assessment criteria and understand how the marks have been given for applying re-evaluation. Re-evaluation only possible, TAM 2 would be accepted. Understood, that is very important. TAM 2 would be understood. 
also makes uh, marks can be both be reduced or increased as the outcome or reevaluation process also in case in case any change the board reissue the new mark sheet the student would be responsible for surrendering the old mark sheet to the original regional office that means you have to surrender your uh, mark sheet in the according to your respective schools then in order to get a new mark sheet so digital mark sheet however would be available soon after revaluation process is completed this is what you have to follow now this time to start uh, verification application because july 26th is the starting date and the date ends july 28th till 11:59 pm clear this is what you have to follow and the steps are very easy once you go to the cbsc dot go gov dot nic dot ae and you will get the site for their verification of marks there and then you have to go through it then you will get a page that page contain your application number admit in admit card all the things are there and your date of birth your name your father name and address everything you have to put at that column then submit the application then select the subject uh, tick according to that subject only and go to the next page you will get another page that page you have to uh, use your credit card or debit card to pay the fee so then at last the process finished but you have to go through your site frequently then only you will get what the uh, cbt site your verification of marks given or not retotaling finished or not you have to keep on check it understood this is what the steps you have to follow thank you for following my channel thanks a lot have a nice day thank you